I got a whole lot to do today, but I am glad that you're coming with me. I've already started my first battle focus session this morning. I got up at 6.40, specifically 6.40, because I snooze since 6.15, but hey, let's be real, okay? Sometimes we snooze. We got some work stuff at home, and I'm gonna head up to the city to do a couple of things. Gives me an opportunity to show you a bit more about Alicante as well. But first, well, I haven't had my coffee yet. I had a matcha though. But first, let's get ready. I noticed that as the seasons change, it feels a lot more challenging to get up at the same exact time, do the exact same routine. This might sound a little silly as well, but I started implementing this one tiny habit from reading the book, Tiny Habit. It's crazy that it's so simple, so silly, but I've noticed a change, actually. I've noticed a change in how I start my day with how I prime my brain. Do you wanna hear it? It's also good timing now to wear more moisturizing, feeling type of sunscreen. This is by Beauty by Joseph. Okay, so the thing is, the minute I sit up from the bed, the minute my feet touch the ground, I say in my brain, <sighs> today is going to be a good day. And I finish it with a feel good, oh, big stretch. Perhaps it's also like a big difference because prior to adopting that practice, I felt like my ground was just shaking from an array of different things, which I'm not gonna get into it. Today definitely felt silly in the beginning. Over time, it started to feel more natural. I actually look forward to that in the morning, knowing that I can say a positive sentence and feel like I have some autonomy over my day instead of the day having autonomy over me. Going out today and meeting people, I am gonna put on some makeup. Love this smoky shadow, Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow by Makeup Forever. You can have where you can put it on as just easy eyeshadow. Great recommendation, Tracy. Today is also not your typical work day because honestly speaking, since I've been working from home for a year and a half now, I rarely go out. This is probably like a rare occasion. So whatever you see today is not realistically every day. Having said that, today is also not a day where I could do the usual things I do when I'm chained to my desk. So yesterday I had work later than usual. But you do what you gotta do because sometimes things come up in the week and I want to do it. You gotta shift things around and adapt. Ah, uh, perfume. Dutis in Findo. I honestly don't know the full proper name on how to pronounce this. It's from Italy and the lady had said that this has like 60% pure essential oil. Alright, yeah. Mama got me a little birthday gift. Oh, oh, no, I rubbed it. You're not supposed to rub it. Oh, oh it went everywhere. Alright, just one side. We're only doing one side.
surprisingly feeling good about the deadlines I got before I fly out. I got a 6 a.m. flight tomorrow for London. It's for a work study related trip. I know I'm going to need a lot more energy. I know it's going to be taxing. I know I'll need to sleep a lot earlier tonight to wake up at 3 a.m. But to manage my expectations, I think that's helping me level out the anxiety I feel around trying to get things done before flying out because I do have a presentation on Monday morning to prepare for, to make slides for, and all that jam. But it, it's, it's really coming down to I'm enjoying this work. Earlier this week, I experienced a pang of self-doubt again. Typically when that happens, I find myself in like weeks of low moments. This time something cool happened. I felt more calm calmer than before not necessarily calm in general but calmer compared to how i used to react that was a nice surprise it was still uncomfortable for sure to work through like why am i having these thoughts it's encouraging at the same time the effort i've put into working on myself challenging myself as well and cultivating compassion cultivating more of a kind voice buzz towards myself is now starting to demonstrate that it does have quite a bit of power. It's applying them in small doses, just a little bit every day, that will have a compounding effect. And the compounding effect doesn't just apply to wealth or habits, but also rewiring your thinking patterns. Maybe replacing them with stronger ones, not just weakening the negative ones. I am about to arrive at my destination. I'm meeting some girls downtown for a language exchange. I'm looking forward to it. I've been in Spain for like almost two years now, and this is the first language exchange I'm attending. Driving around in California, looking for something to make me stay. Try not to be pretty warm today in spite of it being autumn. Days like this where I have to be interacting a lot uh, online and in person, I do tend to just kind of get it all out in one go instead of having it kind of sprinkle out during the week. I'm, I'm not sure how exactly that kind of happened because it's really different than Hong Kong and it's different than KL. Hong Kong, you just kind of go, well, I'm in the area and it's just like a 10 minute walk. So I'll meet you there and I'll squeeze in a little 20 minute session. It's similar in KL because I already have the social circle. When it comes to where I live right now, it's definitely taking a bit more of an effort to get out of the house because the house is really comfy. The house is where I work and everything's kind of around home now. I cook at home. I do all my meals. I do dog mom stuff from home my access to gym, my access to nature, they're all kind of within this vicinity. So to venture out anywhere past like a 10 minute drive is encouraging me to be more intentional with how I spend my time when I do go out and meet people. Yeah, that's a nice day. And I look forward to meeting up with my buddy Danny. He is working on building his new gym. We're gonna give you the VIP access, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. But it's just a different way of going up. Yeah. Over there. Hiking club. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot more than the last time you told me. See, it's great potential. A whole bunch of sexy people. From this, right now would be a sauna. This entire space, including that. Wow. Physiotherapy. No. This pre-sale setup I have seen for sure. My dear friend Danny is gonna take us to presentation. <laughs> if you're ever in Alicante, you gotta be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really love the Can I just say this is really apt that we 
are two fitness people, health people, and we're eating some in the cafeteria. But look at the portion. The portion is so sensible. Muy sensible. No es necesario para mucho. Perfecto para ti. Perfecto. My size is a little bit bigger. <laughs> Right, y'all we home kind of settled and there's still time for me to jump back on my desk and finish off a couple of things i'm stuck throughout all these conversations today having fun doesn't mean you don't take quality of what you're doing lightly you probably do a better job because you are in that state of enjoyment in the state of flow your intrinsic motivation is just motivating the external motivation it's it's like a little loop of motivation going on in there so yeah i just want to wish you that before you sign off thanks for hanging out with me today on a unconventional cool work day oh in case you were wondering how is meeting up with your friend over lunch and checking out this gym a uh, work day well i guess you'll see in some future episodes okay time to go back to the desk Come on.